In this tutorial, I will present you how to publish documents from Rational System Architect using Rational Publishing Engine. We will create a template in Rational Publishing Engine Document Studio starting from the schema file previously generated using Rational System Architect Report Server Manager. The necessary steps for obtaining the Rational System Architect schema are not present in this tutorial. The information about how to generate the schema file can be found in the related PowerPoint presentation. Using this schema, we will design a template from scratch. Our template will contain two data source schemas, one of type REST and the other one of type generic XML, both using the same schema file. Open the RPE Studio component to create a template. Close the welcome screen. Add the first data source schema named methods and choose the schema file generated using Rational System Architect Report Server Manager. Create a container in the template content, then create a paragraph in the container. Drag the encyclopedia definitions method query from the data source schema and drop it on the container element. Drag the Encyclopedia Definitions method identity and Encyclopedia Definitions method name attribute from the data source schema and drop them inside the paragraph. Select Use as value for both. Insert a new text element to separate these two attributes. Right-click on the paragraph and set the heading style to 1. You can use styles that are not defined in the document template as long as they are provided in the style sheet. Use the contextual menu to set the bold formatting for text elements having data attributes as content. Save the template and select the launcher perspective to configure and to run the document specification. Insert the proper address in the URI field. Publish the template. The output Word document contains the identifier and the name of the methods. As we have said before, we will use two data source schemas. Add the second data source schema of generic XML type using the same schema file. Name it Classes.
Create a new container in the main container. Set the encyclopedia definitions method class name class query of the methods data source schema to the newly created container. Use the existing encyclopedia definitions method query context. Insert a data source configuration element in the container. The data source configuration element will be used to dynamically configure the data source. In the Properties view, select the classes data source schema as the value of the target data source property. In the Dynamic Configuration feature, set the value of the URI property to a data expression referring the age ref attribute of the Encyclopedia Definitions method class name class query used in the container element we have just created. Insert a new paragraph after the data source configuration element and name it class name. Create a text element inside the paragraph and set class name text as content. Drag the encyclopedia definitions method class name class name item of the method schema and drop it on the class name paragraph after the text element. Select user's value. In the container having $2 query, add a new paragraph named Attribute. Create a text element having the text Class Attributes as content and a list element with one list detail in the paragraph. Set the following query to the list detail element. Encyclopedia, Definitions, Class, Attributes, Class Attributes. Create a text element in the list detail element. Set the name of the text to name as text. This text element will be used to display the name of the attribute. Set the text content to a data expression referring to the name attribute of the Encyclopedia Definition Class Attributes Class Attributes Query. Publish the template again. This time you don't need to configure the document specification file since it was configured the last time. While the publishing process is in progress, the log messages are displayed in the console and also in the progress window to inform the user about the execution status. After the publishing process is finished, the output documents will contain all the desired information displayed using different formatting settings.
More videos, tutorials and information about Russian republishing engine can be found on www.reportingarena.com. Thank you for watching this video.